Hi everybody, welcome to Armour 3. And in this video, I just wanted to show you something that I haven't, wasn't familiar with <laughs> until the last couple of weeks that is um, pretty amazing. And if we had this in DayZ, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, it would be an absolute game changer. So Armour 3, as you probably know, is a uh, military simulator from Bohemia Interactive, the people behind DayZ. Um, and like Daisy came out in around about 2013 to start off with, so it's been been out there a long time. And also like Daisy, it has a massive modding community. However, what Armor 3 has as well is the ability to create custom missions, whether that be single player missions or online multiplayer missions. Um, in all sorts of different um, themes and categories and stories. So, for example, this is a really simple mission that someone's knocked up in a couple of days, single-player mission, where we're a hospital worker. Um, we're just about to get a lift. And I kind of see, kind of see what happens. Um, but there's you can have uh, military theme missions, you know, where you're basically playing Armor Three, you know, against AI, and you're moving through. There's uh, aliens ones, there's Terminator ones, there's World War Two, there's Vietnam stuff. It's absolutely amazing, and it kind of makes you a little bit. Well, tell what, let's get in the car, let's get driving, let's get into Greg's car, because um, he's taking us to work. Hello, Greg, how you doing, mate? Thanks for the lift. Um, it kind of makes you a little bit frustrated and thinking, oh my gosh, if we had this for Daisy, where you could create not only mods, you know, because you know we've got mods on Daisy, well, um, on console, and we've got XML mods and Steam Workshop mods on on PC. But if we had this sort of mod, where you could create, you know, missions that the missions tend to have. Um, There'll be a, like a map you load into with you know different loadouts, um, different sounds, that sort of stuff. And then they, they're kind of most of the ones I've had to go at so far. They're, they're waypoint based, so it's go to this place, investigate this, look for this, move to this other place, kill these people, kill these zombies, move on to this place, and and do this sort of thing. So it's so it's nice and simple, but it's only limited by the imagination of the people making. Uh, making the story so for example in this one this is a really it's really simple it lasts about 10 15 minutes you know we're on the right way to work something strange has happened at the hospital you can kind of guess what it's going to be um, and then we do a few things and then you know the mission uh, the mission ends but oh god the, the things you could do with Daisy you know you could spawn in 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 a particular place you know as a fire team squad you've been you've been helicoptered in to north uh, to Tizzy, there's a group of survivors you need to you need to get out, um, all sorts of stuff. So what I'm going to be doing, hopefully over the next few days, few weeks, months, is I'll be playing a few of these missions as well. Um, maybe some of the uh, the Daisy themed ones on like on Chernus, Livonia, and Mouse, that sort of stuff, um, to kind of give you a taster of it, so that if you you know fancy um, having a go, you can you know have a have a go yourself. Now. With Armour 3, it's been out for a long time, so don't pay full price for it. Wait for it to go on sale uh, on, on Steam and get like the whole package. They tend to do like the Ultimate Collection where you get everything, um, uh, including Contact, which is a story where um, aliens come to the Armour 3 world. A bit like Namalsk. Um, oh, I just gave away something there, didn't I? Um, or go to somewhere like CD Keys and again get, um, get like the whole version of it. And now it is very uh, hard on your hardware armor 3 um, I'm playing this on my shadow cloud boost gaming PC which is a GTX 1080 with 12 gigabytes of RAM and I'm kind of lucky if I get 30 frames a second in built-up areas but I haven't really done much research into how to optimize armor 3 to make it run nice and smooth I guess you've just got to turn all the turn all the quality down haven't you to do that um, but that's you know that that's for another video. But you know, look, look at this. You know, this car's got a rear view camera. <laughs> you can you can see in the rear view mirror. This, that's pretty pretty amazing, isn't it? It shows you the difference between the Armor engine and the uh, the Daisy engine. But you've got you know I've got to say that Arm uh, Daisy runs much much smoother on uh, on the on this computer. So 
It's obviously uh, there's a lot more going on with the with the armor engine. However, we do know that lots of the Daisy stuff is based on the armor stuff because of the um, of the way the weapons work and deflection and um, and all the amazing mechanics but behind weapons you know they're definitely uh, armor 3 uh, involved well Greg's doing a sterling work if you do play this particular mod um, sometimes he does he does go off track and goes off road for some reason and you can get stuck behind trees and things and the, but there's nothing you can do you can't get out of the car so you've just got to kind of wait to see what happens all right here we go Let's wait for this emergency car to pass, says Greg. Let's. Alright, wow. Altis, the island we're on, obviously um, Mediterranean themed, Greek themed. Okay, well, let's get me to work. Even the dials move on the, <laughs> on the dashboard. Helicopter flying around. It's unusual. Greg, play, Greg drives a little bit like I do in Daisy. Right, here we are. Right, mate, well, thank you very much for the lift. Thanks, Greg. There he goes. Go to the hospital. Alright, let's go to the hospital. Civilians, come on, let's see what's going on. Helicopter overhead somewhere. Ooh. No, I already told you guys, this area has been quarantined. But my wife was supposed to give birth today, officer. Please. This is for your own safety. Stay back and do not approach us. Oh gosh, what's going on over there? What the hell's going on there? There's so many body bags. This is classified information. You <coughs> just stay back. Okay, so we can't get through that way. We've got to go around this way. You've got to kind of also follow what the game telling you to do. You can kind of Run ahead if you want. <laughs> Let's see what's going on. Investigate further. What's in the back of this van? What's oh, a big helicopter? Journalist, sir, could you explain why? I can't tell you anything at the moment. How long will the quarantine be expected to last? No idea. That military helicopter. Spectators, please stay four to six feet away from us all times. Thank you. Get a bit of you. There's lots of rabbits on Altis. They get everywhere. Civilian. This is nuts. Hello, this guy looks a bit mysterious. Mysterious officer. Hey, you, Alan. Yes, officer.
Name's Jared. Nice to meet you. Come with me. You're needed for some clean up clean up work. Okay. Right, so what kind of cleanup work are we talking about? Morbid. Look at these, look at this. Was he? Uh oh. Careful though, the bodies might be contagious. Oh dear. These are body bags. Go to the uniform box and get geared up. Uh oh. Something's happening. Get out of there! I think we've got the outbreak. Look at them all. Right, we've got to get out of here. We've got to escape. Got a gun. Oh, run. Zombie quarters. Let's have another go. Let's get this gas mask on straight away. Get to even get more dead infected upstairs. I don't really want to go upstairs. I want to get out of here. Oh, oh, zombies everywhere. Oh, we've been killed again. I think we just got to leg it as soon as it happens. The door. Get out of there. Right, let's run. <laughs> run, 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 run. And there we go. We escaped to fight another day to be continued. Right, so you can see that was a really short, simple um, mission. You can actually, if you take the time, you can pick up a gun and you can actually start shooting the zombies. But there's loads of them, you know, you have to have to run away. But hopefully that will give you a kind of flavour of what's possible. You know, a nice little short story, going to work, zombie outbreak, got to try and escape. 
and lots of the other missions are way more complicated than that but you know imagine imagine if we had that in daisy anyway what do you think put your questions and comments down below thank you very much for watching and i will of course see you again soon